Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. You ever watch these little old ladies as they take care of their plants? And they water the little plants and they talk to them and they tell them how much they love them and tell them about their day and oh my goodness. Well, you notice that the plants that are being talked to are growing and thriving and blossoming and spreading out and getting stronger and more vibrant in color and strength, right? And I have heard of, um, what do you call these experiments, where they don't talk or they talk mean to the plant. And they put the plant down and tell them they hate them and how ugly the plant is. And that plant just has the hardest time growing. It's 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 the the growth is stifled it withers in sections it's too dry it really has a difficult time well those are scientific experiments that have truly found that the positive words you speak into a plant no doubt makes it thrive and the negative words you say to other plants make them wither and die hmm. well let me say this to you Think of what you are doing to the very spirit of the one in your family or in your sphere of influence, whether they be on your job or in your household. What effect, what influence does your words have on them? What influence? Because if your words are creating a death trap, so to speak, you might want to change that. If your words are creating life and vibrance and enthusiasm and excitement and encouragement and growth, keep it up, baby. You're doing what God said. You're edifying. But when you tear down, when you destroy and cut deeply with your tongue and slice and dice and stab and jab and dig and twist as you dig. What ends up happening is, especially now listen, if it's your child, you are literally killing them before they ever find out who they are in life and whatever they could have accomplished <coughs> will never get done because you have sucked that light out. You killed it. For those of you who have a, a, a family member, a spouse, a, a, a loved one, and you speak like that all the time, you're criticizing, you, you're critical, you, 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 it's nothing but put downs coming out of your mouth, little snide, sarcastic remarks. You know, yeah, yeah, look at you now. Huh. What do you think about how you ended up now? You know, if that person feels like you, you to them or to you, all they are is a major annoyance. All they are is one big major disappointment. One big failure. You know what ends up happening? They give up trying. And then you wonder why they live a life of self-destruct because they have fed off of your poisonous words. And that's what you have created with your own tongue. Wow. Now, this is what we have to do when we see we've done damage, is ask God, number one, to forgive us. Ask them to forgive us. And ask God to show us how to reverse the curse. There's still time for healing. If damage is already done, let's try to undo that. And if you have yet to do damage, let's try not to. Let's try not to do any at all. God bless you. As you watch your tongue create life or death.